He's got getting started up once again, coming in, coming back to our Father, sitting at his feet, getting ready to come together for Bible, for our Thursday night Bible study. And I welcome everybody here to Repair and Breach Ministries. That the, all those that gather that are gathered together here and those that are <clears throat> joining together with us online. I welcome everyone here as we come together out of the distractions of this world to focus in upon our Father and learn and and, and receive his word. Uh, strengthen ourselves and what uh, he has to give to us and it's reminding everyone once again as we all come together as we all uh, <clears throat> leave out of the distractions of this world and enter in remind remember not to be a not to be an interruption or a distraction to anyone else not to be a, a, a disturbance that, that, that so everyone can focus everyone can receive upon our father uh, what our father has to give to us and it says always that no matter how many miles are in between, no matter the distance, it, that those those that are uh, joining together with us on this broadcast, that there's uh, there's no diluting God's blessings, His anointing up, upon you as we come together, as we join together, united in one, focused in focused in in one place, in uh, in one place that. Uh, by me saying that meaning spiritually focusing upon our Father that His blessings, His anointing, everything that He has for everyone here that are, that's in this place together will as well uh, be be for all of be for all of you that's joining that are joining together with us and uh, <clears throat> there'll be no taking it, no taking away from the blessings that our Father has for us and uh, just remind us everyone to be in continuous prayer one for another. Uh, for its safe journey, so all those that are join that are going to be joining together with us, uh, for the signal to in the broadcast to to continue on, and there be no uh, no cutting off of this signal, no interruption of it, uh, no nothing to uh, be a disturbance or, or an interruption upon this place or any any place that are that those are, those uh, that are joining together with us online, as well. So uh, before we get started, let's all bow our head before the Lord in prayer. Dear Father, we thank you and we praise you, dear Lord, for being with us, God and keeping, and standing on with us, dear Father. We thank you for another time, another opportunity, another chance to come together, to, to leave out of the distractions of this world and, and sit at your feet and focus in upon your word, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, dear Father, just to watch over God and keep and stand on with us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, first off, I pray, dear Father, to forgive us of all the sins that we've committed against you, all the falling short that we have done, dear Father. I pray to pick us up and put us back upon that uh, straight, narrow pathway, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. Stand on with us, dear, dear Father. God and keep us, O oh Lord, and bless us to... <clears throat> As we as we all join in together, dear Father, those here and those joining together on this broadcast, dear Father, I pray that your anointing will rain down upon each and every one of us, dear Father, and remind everyone, dear Lord, that there is no there is no distance out there that 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 can separate us from joining together, united in one, and, and focusing upon you, dear Father. I pray in the name of Jesus, dear Lord, as we as we uh, come together. As we live out of the distractions of this world, I pray there be peace upon everyone, dear Father. All of your children, that, that all of all of your hungry, that come together uh, to receive your word. All of us, dear Father, that there be peace upon us, dear Lord. And there be no disturbances, no interruptions, not, uh, nothing to hinder the receiving of your word, dear Father. And remind each and every one of us to uh, to, to to ready ourselves. Uh, to, to, to be filled by you, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. Guide and keep and stand on with us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, dear Father, to, that, 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 to, to uh, rain down your anointing upon us, your peace and joy and, and your, your, your uh, blessings to be upon each and every one of us, dear Father. And remind all, the, all of us, your children, dear Father, that no matter how many miles separate us, no matter the distance in between, dear Father, that your hand is not short, that your blessings are not weakened with distance, dear Father, that uh, your full blessing will fall upon each and every one of us as we, as, as we continue coming together, united in one, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. And bless us, dear Father, to do so without any disturbances, without any, any interruptions, without 
out the signal being interrupted or cut off, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord, and I pray we, in the name of Jesus to remind all of your children, dear Father, all of your hungry that join together with us that this is your house. This is uh, your the, the gathering together that you have uh, called forth, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. And remind them that, that your head, you are the head, dear Father, that the blessings, all the glory and praise and the blessings go straight to you, dear Father, and not unto myself, that there may be no temptation of pride to enter in, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. And I let it be known this day, dear Father, that I crucify my flesh, I empty my cup, I come before you uh, <clears throat> dependent upon you, dear Father, giving myself fully, dear, dear Father, praying in the name of Jesus that you will speak your word through me, dear Father, with wisdom and knowledge and understanding, with clarity, dear Father, as well, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. I pray, dear Father, that, that, that to, to let your word flow, there be no, uh, no hindrances of the flesh, uh, coming through, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, dear Lord, is to continue on with us, being with us and guiding and keeping us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. And, and Satan, I come against you in the name of Jesus. I command you in the name of Jesus to leave out of this place, to leave your hand, to keep your hands off of all of our Father, all of us, our Father's hungry that come together united in one, uh, focused upon Him. I command you in the name of Jesus to take your hands off of, uh, to take your hands uh, and, and no being no distraction upon any that are uh, joining together with us online. I command you in the name of Jesus to 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 leave us even right now to to <clears throat> to leave us alone. To, to uh, uh, leave us to receive uh, our Father's words that He has for us in the name of Jesus, I command you uh, that you will not be a distraction, you will not be a disturbance, you will not be a hindrance of the receiving of our Father's word this day in the name of Jesus. And, and, and Father, we thank you and we praise you, dear Lord. And, and we know that your Holy Spirit is with us at all times and I pray in the name of Jesus dear father that uh, that that your holy spirit will speak your word to each and every one of us dear father will will uh, open up your word to us dear, dear father no matter how no matter no matter how young in spirit uh, the the uh, the our walk is, dear Father, from the youngest that can only handle the milk of the word to the oldest that can handle the meat of the word, dear Father. I pray in the name of Jesus that your word will be able to will, will uh, be able to be received fully, dear Father. Will fill the hearts of your hungry, dear Lord. Those that desire to hear your word will be able to hear it and receive it, dear Father. In the name of Jesus, dear Father, I pray just to guide and keep and stand on with us in all that we do, dear Father prospering us in every way, dear Lord. And once again, I thank you for uh, being with us and guiding and keeping and standing on with us, dear Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we praise you, dear Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Yay, Jesus. All right, here we go. Back. <laughs> Back again. Back at Revelations. Uh, everybody flip over. Open up to chapter 3 in Revelations. Thank you, Lord. The Lord has brought us back together and once again to receive his word, to come out of the distractions of this world. And he has, and he has given us another time and another opportunity to hear his word. And let's all get ready to receive. And uh, to remind everyone that, that I'm coming out of... Uh, well, I'll be reading out of either the NIV and the, or the King James, and each passage, and I'll uh, say which which is which, which uh, I'm coming out of. But uh, to open up, I'm going to probably come out of uh, King James. No. <laughs> All right, uh, Revelations chapter three, verse uh, verse nine, and going to quick over quick. Uh, in verse, we went over verse eight last week. I believe it was just verse eight we uh, went over. But it, uh, just going over really quick, where it says, "I know, I know thy works. Behold, I have set, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. Thou has little, for thou has little strength, and has kept my word, and has not uh, denied my name." This, what Christ is saying uh, to all, to all of the churches for like we went over last week, uh, I believe it's Psalms 139 where it says uh, 
where, where, where uh, I believe it's David that's writing that, that everything that we do is, is, is open to God. God knows everything that, that we're doing, whether we make our bed in hell, or whether we're in heaven, uh, whether we're... Whether it's nighttime or daytime, uh, God sees everything. He knows the thoughts even before, uh, even even before they uh, come into our heads. And now here, Christ is telling them that he that he knows. Let me look at it, that he knows uh, the uh, their works, and, and this is Philadelphia. He knows their works. He knows what they're doing. And he goes on and and knowing that knowing of. of of where their how's it for where their where their heart is he telling that he's telling them here that he says he's uh <clears throat> he has set before them an open door that no one can shut because just like it, just like last week we learned that once god's blessings once god starts blessing us once he gets once he's getting ready to bless us satan starts coming after us harder and harder try because Satan cannot, uh, he can't shut the door. Uh, just like, just like w with with uh, our salvation, Satan cannot. No, nobody can take away our salvation. But what Satan will try to do is is to distract you, is try to get your mind and your heart away from the Lord, and, and try to cause you uh, to give up that give up your blessing. And that's what uh, here he, he Christ is saying here. It, it, when he's telling them that he has set before he has set before them an open door that that no one that no man can shut he's telling them that their blessing right there all they have to do is just reach out and, and to receive it and, and going on here in verse 9 I mean verse 8 as well is saying for thou has little strength and has kept my word he's knowing he knows that that there's that there's not many whether this is physical, whether this is physically, they, there's few, they're few in numbers, or whether whether this is spiritually, what they have, uh, what they don't have the uh, the knowledge that most ha that that not most, but but some the the spiritual strength that some have. No, no matter what it is, he's he's telling them, he's saying uh, that he's telling that I know that they have that you have little strength. And, and and but at the same time he's saying he knows that uh, that he, they kept his word and he says and, and and they have and they they have not denied his name all of these things that that Christ is saying to them that that he knows and and he's and with with, with all of this and what we're going to get into it it's in well we we'll probably won't catch it uh this week where is that at oh it's in verse 12 but their their reward is is right there. Their blessing, their 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 bless. He's going to speak their blessings on them. But uh, even right now, he has that door uh, open to them. That their blessing, their their full blessings might not be be received just as as of yet. But the door is open right now. That their, their blessings their blessings will be received in the present time as well as in in the future, uh, in the future tense. But we're not going to dwell too much with that when we went over that last week. So let's drop down to verse 9. Yeah, verse 9. And I'm going to read. Oh, man, where did I put that? Oh, well. All right, verse 9. I'm, I'm going to read it out the, uh, out the uh, King James, I said. I'll read it out in IV some other times. Maybe some other verses. All right, here out the King James. Cha uh, Revelation chapter 3, verse 9. Behold. I will make them a synagogue of Satan, of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I ha that I have loved thee. Now, behold, wants wants to get your attention, uh, wants to. Uh, wants to he command commanding your attention to uh, to speak something to you like everything that God says is, is to be received is to be paid attention to but this behold right here he wants uh, he wants special attention to this uh, it, it's left out in the in the NIV but here he says behold I will make them a synagogue of Satan everyone well, here well, I'll just read 
through the whole thing, which say they're Jews and are not, but but do lie. Then in, even today, where where here it says that 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 say they are Jews, but but they are not. People that may that they may have they they may be uh, of Jewish descent physically, but they're they they stand against everything that God is is uh is they stand against his they, they stand against his God's God's gospel, and even today that uh, uh there's churches that that have the name just like uh who was that uh who was that that we learned uh Sardis. Sardis had the name, had the name of God, uh, had the name of life within it, but they, but they were dead. And just the same way with these, they have that name, uh, the uh, Jewish descent, but they have denied everything that uh, that that God stands for. Uh, they they went against His gospel, uh, just like I was about to get into today. That there's churches out there that that there's the building. There's the structure. There's the name that that have that uh, describe uh, life or 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 light, or they they say uh, it says ministries or even church in in the name, but they're liars. Uh, they they cause they cause those uh, that that walk in those doors walk in their doors to uh, to to fall, uh, and this is why I hear in um. And John, in first, first John, let me see, first, no, nah, yeah, first John chapter four. Uh, first John chapter four, verse, verse, uh, hmm, verse one. And I'll read this out, the, the NIV. It says, dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. Because many false prophets are gone out into this world. Uh, here in verse 2, this, this is how you recognize the spirit of God. Every spirit that, that acknowledges that Christ has come in the flesh <clears throat> is from God. But every spirit that every spirit that does not acknowledge Christ is is of is is not of God. Right? Yeah, every, every spirit that does not acknowledge. It is oh, it is the spirit of the antichrist which you have which you which you heard is coming and even now is already in the world. Yes. Antichrist. That's Satan. That that's Satan coming coming in in the in the sky in the disguise of uh, of speaking God's word or spreading the gospel of of uh, wanting to to lead people to Christ, but but truly doesn't want them wants to lead wants to lead them in, in the uh, a, 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 a path away from God, a danger a, a path of death. Literally, because you don't, because they're not turning you toward God. It, they, they're not turn. They're not going to turn you toward God. They're going to, they're going to uh, speak lies to you. They're going to uh, speak false things to you. That is in. That is in the, uh, the, the. That they will make it look like it's gospel. They'll make it seem like they that it, it's uh. It it's God's word, but but it truly isn't. And this is what. Uh, this is what Jesus is saying here, and back at Re back at Revelation. And well, here that 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 what we just read is why God and John why why God would have us to pray continuously and and and, and just hard every day, so we don't get deceived by these things. And when you do so, when you ask God for discernment, when you ask God for uh, clarity on on things, like whether you don't understand if, if that's what if that's God's word, if that's God's will for you, God will God he'll he'll teach you, he'll show you, he'll uh, lead you in that in the right direction. But the thing is, you have to pray to do so. And 
You have to keep his word, just like he told, uh, uh, who was that, Joshua. He said, uh, uh, meditate on my word day and night. That you, you, we have to pray uh, continuously. Uh, and, and just like the Lord told, taught us before, it's not, it, it doesn't have to be uh, that on your knees, on, on your face in, in, in prayer. It's just, it's just uh, con continuing, uh, just continuing uh, to, to talk with God. To ask him to lead you in your in the in the right pathways, and that's what Philadelphia. This, this is why Philadelphia and uh, who who else was that? Uh, and in Smyrna, that's why they did not follow it. They, that's why that's why they did not get any. I have this against you because they were walking with God, and just like with Philadelphia, he said they they had not dis, uh, denied his name. But here, I lost my place. Here in verse nine, go flip back to a. Uh, uh, Revelations. He's saying, he's saying here that that these people that call them that call themselves uh, that has the 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 sky the 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 veneer of being Jewish. They have the physical or the, they have the physical uh, attru attributes of, of being Jewish, the the descendant of Abraham and all of that. But they have not accept they have not accepted God, uh, uh, His Son. Christ coming into the world, the gospel that He has sent by Him, and in the uh, everything, everything uh, that that comes along with it, and He says that they are a synagogue of Satan, they are a, a gathering of Satan, they're a gathering of, of of devils that that are there. He's and He's saying here that He says, "Behold, I will make them the synagogue of Satan." He's going to let it be seen that that uh, He. He's not. He's not. Uh, well, here he, he's gonna. He is. He's gonna. He'll make it clear to them who they are. Uh, he'll make it clear to them of of who who is who is who will be who is walking with them and who is not and who are not walking with them. Just like uh, flip over, flip back to uh, first first Corinthians. Chapter 11, chapter 11, verse 19. And First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 19, this is out the King James. It says, for, for there must be also heresies among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. And, and, and the NIV says, no doubt there have been differences among you to show which of you have God's approval. God is going to make manifest everything that that all the all the truth the, those that walk with Him in truth, those that uh, worship Him in spirit and in truth, and as well as those here that here in Revelate that that are the the synagogue of Satan, those that are causing others to fall, those that are causing others to <clears throat> to be a hindrance to them, uh, to to trying trying to make them slip and fall. God is going to let that be seen. And that's why it says here that I will make them a synagogue. A synagogue of Satan. Which that which say they are Jews and are, and are not. Yes. It's like a gathering. Like a, like a church. Like a church is a gathering of, of those that believe. Those that walk with God through Christ. And that's, a, that's a gathering. But here, and going on, he says, uh, and or not, but, but do lie. He says, Behold, I will make them come and worship before, before thy feet. Now, after he lets, his, lets this all be known, after he's letting it, after he's uh, letting it be seen clearly, just like we read in, uh, in, in Corinthians, uh, those, those that, are, uh, what is that, which are approved. Being being made known that God's those that are approved there in Cor in Corinth, God's letting it be seen, just like in the same way here. Those that are not with God, those that are 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 causing a lie to be spread forth, uh, it, it's going to be seen. It, it's going to be seen uh, and made clear to them. And he says, uh, and going on further, he says, he's going to make them. He says, I will make them come before come and worship before thy feet. It, that's not. 
saying that they're going to come and, and bow and worship those that are in the church that those the people that are that are in the church that walk with truly walk with God through Christ this is saying that they're going to realize <clears throat> they are going to realize the wrong that they're doing they're going to realize the deception that that uh the deception that they're causing uh in in the uh and all all the uh stumbling blocks that they have been to others they're going to realize that and they're going to and they're going to uh see that see that god is see that uh, christ has come into the world has died and and he is sitting on the, <clears throat> on the right <clears throat> he's sitting on the right hand of god and they're going to see that and they're going to come into the church and 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 acknowledge that just like with uh um, flip it flip back to Daniel with Shed, Shedrach, Meshach, and, Abend and Abednego. How uh, was that? Nebuch Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar. Oops, too far. Throwing the throwing the three. Nebuchadnezzar, are you sure? All right, let's see. Let's see if you're right. All right, chap Daniel chapter three verse uh verse. Uh, let's go to verse, let me see which one it is. Uh, which one is it? Oh, Belshazzar. Belshazzar? Oh, wait. Yeah, wait a minute, hold up, let me see. Um, oh, I'm in chapter 2, no wonder. Nebuchadnezzar. Oh, so you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Huh? You said never again? Yeah, close enough. Two different ways of saying the name. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Chap. Hmm? That's what I was. That's what I thought. One Nebuchadnezzar was the older one. Or the dad. No, there's a, a letter or two off, I think. All right. I hear chapter chapter uh chapter three verse twenty five. Uh, he says, <clears throat> "This is up to King James." He says, "And he answered." Uh, should we read twenty four? Okay, read twenty four. So we're gonna start at twenty four. The Lord wants us to start at twenty four. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished. Was a, was a a ton, a ton and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors did not we cast, we cast three men bound in the midst of the fire and they answered and said unto him true said unto the king true O king 20 verse 25 and he answered and said behold I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Now jump, what, yes? Oh, now jump to verse 29. It says, Therefore, I decree, I make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything amiss among, against the God of, Shed, of Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their house shall be made a dunghill, because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. Yes. Um, refuge. Garbage. Waste. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's waste. All right, now, here, at the end of verse 9, he's saying that he's going to make them worship. He's going to uh, make them come worship before thy feet. And they will make, well, he will make them come uh, worship before before their feet. He's going to let them know. He's going to let them see that the wrong that they have done. And they're going to go in and acknowledge that. Just the same way that Nebuchadnezzar. Acknowledge that that uh, here in verse twenty, and after he saw the after he saw the four in the fire, 
he acknowledged and, and, and said, and after he called them out and there was no harm, there was, they didn't smell like smoke, the, the only thing that, w that was burnt off of them are the ropes that were tied, that were, uh, that they were tied with, that after that, he, he made a decree and to every people, every language that, that was under his province and, and said, or in his, king, the, his kingdom, and said, anyone that, that speaks wrong about God, uh, the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they're going to be cut into pieces and their, their hounds are going to be, going to be made a, a, ref, a refuge or a pile of rubble in the, in the NIV. That they're rub, rubble. Rebel, rebel, but they're, they're um, they're in the same way that those that have not, that have uh, been deceptive, have been speaking against God, have been trying to make people fall away in that way. The same way that once they once they see that they're going to come back and they're going to say yes. Uh, Christ is the Son of God. Christ died for our sins. They're going. They're going to not acknowledge that the wrong that they have done, the the wrong that 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 they have been teaching, and that just like we said, the worshiping at their feet is not going to be uh, bowing down at them in 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 any way and giving them any kind of uh, uh, homage or, or knowledge or, or worshiping them in any way. But it's going to be that. God is going to God is going to let the, let them see the wrong that they have done, and they're going to walk in those churches and 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 acknowledge themselves of of the wrong that that they have done. And he says, uh, and when he when he does that, it goes. I'm back at Revelations. He goes on and says, and and uh, oh man, I lost my place. And and see, let me should be and to know that I have loved thee. He's going to let just like we read uh and uh. First Corinthians, those that are walking with God, there's, they're going to be, uh, they're going, they're going to be acknowledged. They're going to be seen. God is going to make it known that these here, that once they come in, that that they're going to know that God, that God, uh, has 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 loved them. That that God has fought their battles. That God has done all of these things for them. In 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 not the same matter, but but well, but in in, in the same, well here in the same way that here when even today that that uh all of us that that walk with god that uh walk in the spirit that that continuously uh holds hold keeps his word just like verse uh verse eight says keeping it where it says that you kept my word <clears throat> and have not denied my name the same that the same way that we do it and we when we walk out in, in the into this world and hold hold tight to god He's going to make it known. He's going to fight our battles. He's going to make it known to everyone that that uh, that we walk with him. He's going to make it known to everyone that he that that he loves us by the favor, by the uh, winning winning of the battles for us. Everything that he does for us. When Satan comes again, even when Satan tries to stop uh, what God has for us, that the world's going to see God's love for us because the the, the battle and, and and the protection that he puts around us. And now going on, go now in, in verse. Uh, drop down to verse ten. Yeah, I don't. Well, I don't know if we'll get done with this one, but we'll attempt it. Here it says, "But thou hast kept the word of my of, of my patience. I also will keep will keep thee from the hour of temptation that will come upon all the world, and to try them." that dwell upon the earth he says now because of this because they they they, they haven't uh they they they've kept his they've kept his uh uh his word have not denied his name and not only is he going to make is he going to make it uh the the those that are jews and that and that are not uh make them be known make it be known uh let let uh and have them coming into the coming into his church where, where his true followers are, and 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 acknowledging the wrong, the the the, the wrong pathway, the deceptive words, the, the causing a stumbling blocks before others. And not only that, but he says, but he goes on and says because because you they have kept uh, the word of of his patience or. Uh, uh, Kept my in the NIV it says kept my command to endure uh, patiently to endure 
the, 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 this key word here is my that it is not is not keeping keeping his word the best keeping God's word the best that they could um, th this is a, 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 a mistake that a lot of us do that we try to do our best to uh, uh, to, to walk with God we try to do our best to uh, <clears throat> to to uh, stay true to stay true to the Lord but here it, it's it, it's God's best and the only way to to go at it uh, God's best is to is to ask him for the strength is to uh, uh, ask him to be able to endure uh, the way he the way he endured that, that's why it's saying here he says uh, kept, kept the word of my patience or uh, kept my command my command to endure you walk with God the way he would have the way he wants you to walk with him uh, and, and, and that's saying that and, and the only way to do that the only way to even well, you won't even come close if not but the only way to do that is to give yourself fully to God is to is to uh, just say just as it says in verse 8 it says keeping his word and not denying his name walking walking on and, and grasp grasping hold and because and because of this he says because they have walked with him uh, in, in his patience or, or endured endured the way he would have them to endure in his power and his strength and his uh, uh, ability capability of doing so he says here he says I will also keep thee uh, I will always keep the I, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation now because they have done this because Philadelphia, all of these in, in Philadelphia have done this, have walked with God because they have they walked with him the way uh, in, in his patience, in his endurance. That God, it, he says, because you have done this, this is what I'm going to do for you. And uh, where is that at, Father? Uh, where is that at? Where is that at, Father? Philip over to a, um, oh okay that's a, a Exodus. Lord just reminded me what that what that was. I had he had me write down. Uh, Exodus chapter what is that chapter nine? And this is jumping a little forward, but Lord's all going to make all of this clear. Going to clear all of this up for us. In Exodus chapter 9, verse 4, it says, it says, And God, and this is up to King James, And God shall sever between cattle, the cattle of Israel, and the cattle of Egypt. And there shall, and there shall nothing die of all that the children of, of all that is the children of Israel. Yes. Oh, you, you had your hand up. Severing this it is because because he put a difference between well here in, with with e Israel and Egypt he put a he put his, the wall there that none of the cattle none of, nothing of Israel even when uh even when he when darkness came over the land it was all well all of the all of the plagues after he says I will sever all of the plagues happened to Egypt none of the plagues affected any none of the plagues after this. Put it, putting, uh, severing them happened to Israel. And now here he's saying because you had, because you, they have hear him back at Revelations. Yes, sever means you like you put a divide, a division in it. Like uh, if I sever a piece of paper, I'm dividing it. Okay. All right. Now he says because they have done this thing, because they have kept it, the, the word of, of endured and in in. In God's in, endured how God would have them to have them to endure. He's telling them. He says, "I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation." I will all. He would. He's gonna. He's gonna sever them. And here the uh, uh, <clears throat> the the Greek uh, Lord had me look it up. The <laughs> I gotta remember how it's pronounced now. The Greek word for keep. Uh, it, it's in a uh, five. If somebody wants to, anybody want to look it up, it's fifty. G fifty eighty three, it's terero. Hey, I got it. Terero, terero. 
I'm not saying it again. Yeah, I'm not saying it again. But that, that means to, to guard, to keep an eye on, to, uh, to put a fence around. Just like with, with, uh, with Job. God kept Job. In that same manner, he put that fence around. Satan told him, he says, I'm, Satan said, he said, you, you have that fence around him. I can't touch him. He's, and Satan knew that when, when, when God keeps somebody, when God guards them, it, just the same way here with Philadelphia. And we're not going to get through this whole thing. We're gonna, we'll stop. We'll stop right there and we'll probably go over it again next week. But when God keeps someone, when God guards against guards against them that there's nothing that's going to happen no matter how much satan wants to come against you and and this is for each and every one of us as well no matter how much satan wanted to come against philadelphia uh that well not the the, the but the, the, those that walking with God through Christ, uh, all, all of those there that are walking with him, no matter how much he wanted to uh, come in and, and, and cause, cause them to fall away and come in and, and, and just attack them. He says, God, it says here, I will also keep thee. He, God is keeping them. And now he, he's keeping them uh, <clears throat> from the hour of temptation. That he said he and this is the and, and this is what uh uh God it, it, that where God would ha, uh where I jumped ahead a little too far that that severing part that we're we're say where God severed Israel God severed Israel and Egypt that everything that happened to eat everything that all the plagues uh after he had severed after he had, after he had divided uh. Put that fence of protection around them, or that dome of protection around them. Everything that happened after that, I can't remember. It was a, you know, I can't remember what it was. The death of cattle and the flies, and what is that? Darkness. Yeah, it was the boils. No, the frog, the frogs were before that. Yeah, it was, it was a sea being red, and then the frogs, and then uh, the flies, and then the. All right, but, but okay, but here he he severed he severed them he se he severed them that that from the hour of temptation. Now it's not saying that if, if this is the the uh, tribulation period uh, that the world is going to go in that the world is going to be in or or not. But this this severing, this protection, and and it's and not it's not it's not saying that that they're going to be just uh, taken away out of it. It's saying here, he says, "I would keep, I would keep thee uh, from that, from that hour of temptation." He's going to put, he's going to, he's going to sever them. He's going to, he's going to put uh, that protection around them from what is going on everywhere around them. That how, how's it in Psalms that a thousand fall by the right hand, and ten thousand by the left, but it will not, it will not come nigh thee. I can't remember where that is in Psalms. Ninety-one. Ninety-one. Verse seven. Wow. Okay. <laughs> but that, but it's not going to fall on, on on any of them. That and and that when we see things, when when we see things today happening, uh, how there's um, diseases and, and and sickness and and death and uh, shooting all around us, and it's not anywhere anywhere near us. That's that's that uh, protection. That's that severing. That that's that uh, uh keep keeping us, God keeping His eye on us. How is that? Uh, God guarding guarding us against all of that. And this is what He's doing for the church. This is what His promise is to the church of Israel. This is that this is that the the promise of protection of because they have kept uh, kept walking with God because they have uh, kept going along with Him because they have not. Uh, they haven't uh, went into uh, been part of the world where where, uh, every, where uh, it, how it looks good or or how uh, those that those that are those that are in the world are, are not being singled out or, or not being talked about uh, uh, not being picked on that but they but they stuck with God they stuck with what was not world was not popular in the world because of that. He says, I'm going to keep you. I'm going to keep you from that hour of temptation. I'm going to keep you. And we're going to stop, we're going to stop there and pick it up next week up here. <clears throat> He's going to keep them from all of that. 
He's going to keep them from uh, uh, protect them, surround them, uh, stand stand with them, and and there's not going to be anything that that touches them, and, and that and that goes the same thing uh, with uh, as long as we walk with God, as long as we do the things that uh, walk with God in His way, not in our own way, not doing the thing, not walking with Him. At, how we think we should walk with him but walking with him how his word says where it says in first peter be ye holy for i am holy doing it the, doing it his way god is going to put that protection around us god is going to keep god, god is going to keep us from that hour of temptation that 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 comes upon the world uh he he's gonna uh like with, with uh it's like what, what, what we just read in, in Exodus, how he just severed them. Severed Israel was over here. Exodus, I mean, Israel was uh, was over here. Egypt was over there. And everything that happened to Egypt only happened to Egypt. Nothing fell, up, nothing, not a single thing fell upon uh, Israel after God severed it. And that's the same thing that that's going to ha that's going on with this church here. Not not a not a single thing is going to happen to it. What that God that that God is the hour of temptation that God is going to bring down upon it. <clears throat> upon upon uh upon the 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 the, the world. All right, so we're gonna, we'll stop there. We'll stop there. Pick it up. Uh, pick it up. Which where is it at? The second part of this, which come, which come upon, which come upon all the world. All right, we'll we're gonna pick it up there. Let me see what's what's tomorrow next week's date. Eighteen plus seven, twenty-five. Eighteen plus seven is twenty-five, isn't it? All right, we're we'll pick, we're gonna pick it up there. Uh, any any questions? Any any statements? Anybody got anything to say? Everybody understand what the Lord is saying? All right, praise God. Here we go once again. The Lord has given us the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of His Word, and now here we come into the part the the uh, open up open up the invitation of discipleship. Anyone here that has not that has not accepted Christ as a personal Savior as of yet, that or in line. If you're joining to, together with us online and you de and anyone desires to accept Christ as a personal Savior and the desire has to be within your heart, don't do it because because uh, a loved one or a parent or friends or somebody saying that you have to do it, that they're trying to push you to do it. Don't do it because somebody's trying to push you to do it. Do it because it's within your heart and you want to do so. You want, you, uh, you want to accept Christ as your personal Savior. So if you're here, come on forward if you want to accept Christ as your personal Savior. Uh, <clears throat> if you're online and you want to accept Christ as your personal Savior, there, that, that all you have to do it, to, to do so is uh, just within your, with, with all your heart, within yourself or out loud, just say, Jesus, come into my heart. Save me. I know I'm a sinner, I know, and I know I need to be saved. Save me. Be my leader. Be my guide. Be my savior. And once you accept, once you say those words with all your heart, that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life, and you're saved. There's and, and there's no classes that you have to take for your salvation to be complete. There's no probationary period. There's no waiting around for your salvation. You are once you accept Christ as your personal savior. Once you say, once you say those words with all your heart, Jesus, come into my heart. Save me. I know I'm a sinner. I know I need to be saved. Save me. Be my leader, be my guide, be my savior. Once you say those words with all your heart, your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Uh, <clears throat> your home is in heaven, and there's nothing, and, and and there's nothing you have to do after that for your salvation to be complete. And once you accept Christ as your personal savior, once you do so, uh, pray and ask God to send you to a church that's going to help, that send you to to a church that He has waiting for you. That he would have you to go to. That's going to strengthen you in your walk, in, in your faith, and in your trust in him. Uh, it, it, it has to be God's choice for you in your life. Uh, it, can, it, it, it cannot be your own choice. 
And only God knows where he would have each and every one of us to go. And, and we all need to, need to be around uh, other uh, children of God and other, other hungry that are running after God to, to uh, keep to strengthen each to strengthen one another and to keep one another from falling. And, and just as, as always, our in, our in, uh, here at Prayer and Reach Ministries, our invite goes out to you if you if the Lord would have you to come to uh, to come to His church, Repair and Breach Ministries, that we welcome you. We welcome you in. Uh, to, to this uh, Bible study and his church service, but it has to be God's choice in your life. It can it cannot be your own choice. It has to be God's choice for you. So pray, pray in the name of Jesus. Every time you pray, pray in the name of Jesus, uh, that God will will take you to the church that he that he desires for you to go to. And uh, if there's any prayer requests. If you have any prayer any prayer requests out there, uh, email them in. Our our our, our uh, email address is prayer at rtbministries.us. Send in your prayer request. We'll pray over them on your behalf. Once again, it's prayer at rtbministries.us. Uh, <clears throat> don't hesitate. If you have, if the Lord would have you to send a prayer request, uh, email a prayer request in, send it on in right away. And uh, lastly, if there's any, I mean, we'll be coming. See that's yeah, I got everything. And lastly, if, if we'll be coming together uh, on Sunday, start our broad. We're gonna start our broadcast for church service on Sunday at twelve thirty. We uh, we if you. If the Lord would have you to join together with us in person, uh, we come together at the Holiday Inn Express, located off Route 283, Elizabethtown, Reams exit off of Route 283. Uh, we, we gather together, and we're going to be coming together, like I said, at 1230, sing praises, to sit at our Father's feet and receive His Word that He has uh, waiting for us to receive. We welcome you to come on down and join together with us. Uh, <clears throat> To, with joy, with with uh, excitement and joy, receiving God's word. Once again, we'll be coming. We'll, we gather. We gather together at the Holiday Inn Express, uh, uh, Elizabethtown Reams exit off of Route 283. I guess it, pray, if if the Lord would have you to join together with us, we welcome you to come together with us. Uh, and and uh, la if there's nothing else, no other, no questions, no statements. If all hearts and minds are clear. Let's, let's all bow our heads and be dismissed now. Dear Father, we thank you and we praise you once again for allowing us to join together out of the distractions of this world. We thank you, dear Father, for allowing us to put on your uh, put this broadcast out for your children to join together with us online as well. And I pray for, e for each and every one of us, dear Father. As we as we leave out of this Bible study, go back out into this world, go to our uh, go our separate ways. I pray in the name of Jesus. Surround us with your angels. Protect us, dear Father. Continue being that cornerstone in our lives, dear Father. Remind us to be in continuous prayer, giving all things to you, dear Father. Staying humble, and walking with with, uh, with with joy, with boldness and enthusiasm. Uh, <clears throat> Give us that wisdom and knowledge and understanding as we're out in this world, dear Father. And, and bless us to even to spread the word of your gospel to others, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus. Prosper and guide and keep and stand on with us and continue on blessing us. in all that we do and all that we're going to do, dear Father, in Jesus' name, dear Lord, bless us in, in every way, dear Father. And I pray your angels to be upon the homes and the families and protecting us, dear Father, in all that we do, dear Lord. Put that fence of protection surrounding us, dear Father. Guide and keep and stand on with us in every in everything that we do and all that we're going to do, dear Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we praise you, dear Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Yay, Jesus. <laughs>